Hello and welcome to this latest edition of the Virtual Bridge Sessions. And today we're at the zoo. I'm so excited. I mean, it's always good to go out to the zoo. But especially now that we're joined with Lizzie, but something has happened at the zoo. Like literally, I'm, I'm tense already. I need to know what's happened. So Lizzie, tell us more. Hi, yeah, thanks. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of background first. Um, so my name's Lizzie. Um, I'm the Learning Technology Officer for the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland. So that is Edinburgh Zoo and the Highland Wildlife Park. And this is uh, my digital delivery workshop, um, which I've run several times. Um, I made it through lockdown because a lot of my colleagues, particularly in other zoos, but um, across some of the schools that we work with and, and other areas, um, we're struggling with that like really fast pivot to delivering online so um, and it's something that you know I've I've done for years I've even you know I've I've evolved this session and stolen things from other virtual bridges I've been in so it's kind of an amalgamation of everything I've learned over years and of lockdown um, and it's to try and help people kind of um, deliver online in a short space of time and kind of build that confidence um, so this is normally a 90 minute workshop, so you're going to have to bear with me for cramming it into 30 minutes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you um, I'm going to give you kind of dive in and give you the fun part that everyone does. Um, so usually I talk for about 20 minutes um, and then we have um, about 40, 45 minutes um, in breakout rooms where people do some tasks um, and they get hands on with the technology. Um, and then I bring everyone back together for half an hour and I say, look, that wasn't scary. This is how you can use it yourselves. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of that hands on. Maybe I'll talk through some of the not scary parts um, and then I'm happy to hang around. Or if anyone wants to contact me later, if you want more information about the session itself or anything I've mentioned in there. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. Um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, and remember that tiny sound tick box, which I always forget. Here we go. So hopefully you can see that. Um, so yeah, this, like I said, it's a bigger session. This is a 45 slide PowerPoint. So forgive me as I dart through it. Um, but I'm just going to do one right at the very beginning. Um, this one is one that I like to include. Um, so the session's also got built in evaluation in it. And I'm perfectly happy to chat with anyone for days about these evaluation methods. They seem to be working. It's quite cool. Um, but if you'd like to, if you've got um, a phone or you can tab out of Zoom, um, you could jump on VBOX and just tell me how confident you are at digital delivery. Um, it's just a little vote. Um, I usually at the start of these sessions, I say, welcome to the digital delivery workshop. Scrap that, you're now in a job interview. And I put the pressure on and I go through my evaluation questions and pretend that it's a job interview. Um, and yeah, I like to frighten people in the morning, why not? <laughs> Just give people a couple of minutes to try and have a quick vote on that. So just asking then, VBOX, is it free? Is it? Yeah, yeah. So that's the other thing about this workshop is everything that we use um, in here. I haven't paid for anything except for our Moodle platform. Um, so I do have a slide later on in the session in the session about um, these. Uh, they're called audience response systems. Uh, my team always snigger when I call them ARSs. Um, and <laughs> um, and there's a whole range of them. And I'll point out several um, to, to the people who kind of attend the 90 minute workshop. Vivox is the one that I like to use um, because it works. It's got a really nice phone interface. So I generally oh, I generally have it open on my phone on like stood up on my laptop so I can control both at once. Um, but we also like to use um, Nearpod is really, really good when we're working with children um, because it's got kind of drawing tools and things like that in it. Um, I know a colleague really much prefers Mentimeter because of their data handling stuff. Um, and all of these have got um, different free packages. So it kind of depends on what you want out of them. Um, so it's like I really like getting people to collaboratively build word clouds and VBOX is the only one I found that allows you to do that for free. Um, and so certain ones will let you have, you know, a certain amount of people in it for free or certain question types and um, just have a shop around, really. Um, this is the one that I like to use. Uh, cool. So I will move on because I know that we are short on time um, and it wouldn't be a zoo workshop. I am going to get to the mystery in two seconds. I know that's why you're all here for the puns. Um, I'm just going to move on to one other thing. It wouldn't be a zoo workshop without getting everybody to get up first thing on a Tuesday morning and waddle like a penguin. 
Um, so those of you who've turned your cameras off, I'm just going to trust that you're doing your very best penguin waddle in the background. There's some excellent waddling going on. I really appreciate you all. <laughs> Um, and so this this wider presentation has got about eight of those built in just to get people up and moving and engaged. Um, Okie dokie. So this is the point where I uh, don my detective hat and um, we move on to the mystery. So we're going to set the scene just now. Uh, nope, that's the wrong way. Um, <laughs> here we go. So let me know if you can't hear this, but it is on the page I'm about to send you to as well. I've been doing this job a long time. A case like this was bound to come along sooner or later. There's a celebration at our ZSS. Everyone's in the mood to party until someone steals the cake. I got to work. Calling in old favors, I've managed to find my suspects, a cacophony of colorful creatures. First there's the panda, Yang Wang, the monochrome miscreant known for his sweet tooth, but is his case as black and white as it seems? Maybe the culprit is Cato, the capuchin, who was seen in the vicinity of the crime. Could he hold the monkey to this case? Then there's Dharma. She may be a tiger, but I need to work out if this time she's lying about her whereabouts. Terry the penguin's down on the rock. He may look the gentleman, but there's something fishy about him. What'll the evidence show? My final suspect is Bard. I've heard so many tales of the Arctic fox. He may be sly, but did he steal that slice of cake? Suddenly this case isn't looking so sweet. I need help. So I've taken a whisk and hired you rookies to help me crack the cake. Everyone must get their just desserts. Uh, so yeah, excuse the dodgy subtitles in the background there as my boyfriend walking around on the on upstairs. Um, but so this sets the scene. Um, so a cake has been stolen. And now I'm going to send all of my detective friends, um, which is you guys, you've all been hired as detectives today. Um, and so I am going to send you all out um, in to, to investigate this case. Um, so in two seconds, I will, uh, I think I'll put us into, how many people have we got? 15, perfect. I'll put us into three breakout rooms. Um, and what I'm gonna do is um, send out, oh, Kenji looks worried when I mention breakout rooms. <laughs> Um, so we're going to send out a link um, to our learning environment, which is Zoodle, which is based on Moodle, hence the pun. Uh, we also just trademarked Zoodle and I'm just like ridiculously proud of it. I went through the entire website and put TM everywhere I could find. <laughs> um, so I'm going to send you there. Um, I will pop a link. Actually, I could do that now. I will pop a link and the password into chat. Um, and what you'll see on this web page is... Um, four suspects I know I mentioned five in the video but I dropped one um, for the sake of time um, <laughs> you'll see four suspects on this page um, and each suspect has two sort of sections to it so they have the case notes which is where you kind of have a hands-on play with some of the technology um, and then they have an activity um, which is where people who are doing this like the longer version of this workshop would have a play and actually do something themselves with it so what I'm going to ask you to do today for the sake of time is just the case notes part, just investigate, just have a play. Um, you are welcome to save this link and this password and come back. Um, I won't change anything. You're welcome to come back if you want to have a go at some of the activities in your own time. Um, I don't set homework, but if you want to, you're, you are more than welcome to. Um, so I'll set up the breakout rooms. I'll come around and pop that, met that link back in the chat. Um, it's up to you how you run it and um, kind of work as a group. I know some people like um, to have um, like one person sharing the screen and everyone working together or some people like to have everyone open on, on all of their screens. It's completely up to you. Um, right. So breakout rooms. And we want three of them. There we go. Um, so I'll call us back in sort of 10 minutes or so. You know, I'm loving the hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
not a session with me without a fancy dress, honestly. <laughs> 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 Officer Lizzie <laughs> on the case. <laughs> okay, welcome back, detectives. Um, I'm sorry that was so short. I hope that you did have a chance to maybe play with each of the suspects, even very briefly. Um, but like I said, um, if you want to save that link and that password, you're welcome to go back in and have a play um, in your own time. That's absolutely fine. Um, but for now, just to keep the session moving on, where is, there it is, um, who done it? So I'm going to ask you to go back to VBOX again um, and let me know who you think stole the cake. We're getting some interesting results in. I've got eight votes. And how many hats do you have, Lizzie? And where did you get a police hat. I'm intrigued. eBay. Um, <laughs> I've got three for this session. I don't know in total. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've also got those like uh, glasses with no no glass in that you might have seen in the in the video as well. I like wearing those. Too. Um, <laughs> you you commit wholly for these projects. I, I love that. That's awesome. I've got time to outfit change, but hats are the way to go. <laughs> um okay perfect so that's 12 votes in that is most of us um and we have 16.66 percent think that terry the penguin did it we have 75 percent of voters think that kato the capuchin 33 percent think it was bard the arctic fox and nobody thinks it was Yang Grand, the panda. Let's find out. This is news just in. The case of the missing cake has been solved. We have just been passed footage of the crime as it happened. So well done to that 76.92% of you that got Kato correct. Well done. <laughs> um, so this uh, this is a slide for a break. Wait, we, uh, we haven't got time for a break. You can't go. No. <laughs> um, so that was a really quick taster. Um, and hopefully you, you all had a chance to play with the activities there. Um, and maybe you saw, like, sorry, the case notes there, and then maybe you saw kind of what I've put for the activities. So in a longer session, the groups would work together um, and they would get to play, they would get to kind of solve that case, and then they'd get to go have a go at the technologies themselves. Um, and the idea is um, that everything that we use in this session, except for Zoodle and the, we've got a paid version of Zoom, um, is available free on a free trial or completely free. Um, so that anybody... Who is doing this has used it and can use it and can take it away and use it in their own work. Um, so for the last, I think I've got three or four minutes left in this half hour. <laughs> um, just um, I would normally then talk through everything that we used in detail, um, but just to give you a kind of a flavour of what I would do, um, I talk it through in three sections. So um, I talk about the tools that we've used. Um, so that includes um, I get them to think about it, you know, reflect and interact. Um, so that includes talking about the digital learning environments, those collaborative documents with Jamboard that you did the spot the difference on um, and things like that. And so I talk through each one in depth, how to use it, what the funding structures are and things like that. And also alternatives that might be available because I'm you know, not paid by Google to use Jamboard, um, although that would be nice. Um, <laughs> the next section is um, if I skip to delivery. So then I talk about kind of the methods of delivery um, and how to present online. I know I'm talking very quickly today this is not how I usually do it I usually do pace myself um, but I ask people to to describe it I'm not going to do that just in case 
um, to describe me. Um, and then I kind of talked through about, you know, being human, don't be afraid to make mistakes, how to make a comfortable environment where people feel safe to ask questions, uh, use props, wear your hats, like our lovely Lima friend here wearing hats, um, things like that in this section. Um, and the final one is one that was pretty much inspired by the virtual bridges um, is well-being. Um, so I include a section on how to look after yourself and your audience when presenting online. Um, so it was inspired by something that I saw here. And then I've done some more research and stuff as well. Um, this is an entire session. It could be an entire session on its own. Um, but I kind of talk about checking in with your audience. You know, when you're presenting online, you can't see if the class is shuffling in their chairs in front of you. Um, so check in with them as often as you can. Adapt your session. Give people a helping hand. Um, and also ways to look after yourself, making sure that you time in breaks and things like that as well. Um, and that is kind of the session, just in case anybody is driving anybody crazy, because I love making a really difficult spot the difference. Uh, these are the answers. Um, I don't want anyone to go away with an itchy brain after my session. So this is where everything was. <laughs> um, just a quick flash up. And uh, that I make it 30 minutes and breathe. <laughs> Um, so I'm perfectly happy to stay on as long as needed to take questions. Uh, these are the links. Um, my email address is lseymour at rzss.org.uk. This is our generic links slide. I would, uh, no, not enough people get my visual pun here. That's a link. Um, <laughs> just have in. Um, but so yeah, that's the link to Zoodle and um, what we do on our social medias as well. <laughs> that was Brilliant, Lizzie. I, I'm I'm not sure anyone can. <laughs> that, that's a hard act to follow. I'm I'm, I'm not going to quite look at any other e-learning experience <laughs> in quite the same way. I just Next. I just kind of wanted to like set an example that it can be fun and easy, and hopefully that came across. <laughs> and, and and because I haven't mentioned it yet, and I always do, I can now well understand why you were learning technologist of the year that's that that it, it just it it's that case is this is definitely closed thank you so much for sharing that we will continue the conversation here at the virtual bridge session um but for unfortunately that's all we have time for for you joining us at youtube land um, <laughs> ho hopefully you'll be able to join in with the game and we'll we'll add the links in the description below if you want to check them out but until you can join us for our next session you know as always Stay safe.